Dear family and friends, we're here today in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to witness the union of Jared and Kyla. Marriage is a holy estate given by God to fulfill us as individuals and as a couple. Jared and Kyla desire to honor their Lord and Savior in their lives and in their home. Though today is one of the greatest moments of their lives, the greatest moment for them was the day they began a relationship with Jesus. There is nothing that can take this relationship away from you. For it says in Romans 8, 38 and 39, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jared, Kyla, and everyone here, absolutely nothing can separate you from the love of God. And if you have this love in mind in your marriage, there won't be anything that can separate you from each other's love. It is God designed. Jared, I believe that from the beginning, God knew the plan he had for your life, and he knew the perfect woman that he would bring to complement your life. And Kyla, he always had a plan for you as well, and he knew the man that he would bring to you to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. And Jared does that. There will be times that you need to remember this because marriage isn't always sunshine and rainbows. There will be times that you just want to quit, but you must remember that this isn't your plan, this is God's plan. Just as your spirit and the spirit of Christ are united and become one at the point of salvation, the two of you are united in matrimony and become one. Kyle, I've given you many notes trying to explain how much late I've been in my life in the past few years. I don't know if I've ever found the right words and since the first time you spoke to me, I knew you were special. It was a feeling I got on our first date that I hadn't felt ever before. And from that day forward, I was emphatically in hopeless years. We both felt fast in a scary and real way. But if we could do it over again, I wouldn't change a second of it. For all the uncertainty, the doubt, and the defense mechanisms, I was able to see every bit of who you are. And who you are is the most amazing woman I've ever met in my entire life. You were a constant blend of encouragement, unconditional love, and stubbornness that brightens every room you walk into. You're gonna fight for me. It's just who you are, and it's what you're made of. You live to make people feel loved, often going out of your way to make sure everyone is okay. On top of it all, I've never felt more safe and cared for than I have when I'm with you. I promise to love you through moments of weakness, moments of courage, through shouting matches, lazy Sundays, you're incredibly loud snoring. <laughs> and you asking questions in the middle of the movies we're both watching for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to listen to you, to provide for you, make you laugh when you're upset, and pick you up when you when you fall. Kyla, I already know you're gonna be the best wife in the entire world. And I thank God every day that I get to be your husband. I love you and you're in. I wondered what this day would feel like for as long as I can remember. But for all the years I spent dreaming about it, the versions of perfection I thought I was creating, none of it comes close to the feeling I felt the moment you walked into my life. You have become my solid ground, my greatest friend, and my favorite song. You were intentional, faithful, steady, you weren't so naturally inclined to shape. And you demonstrate on a daily basis the kind of patience I never knew was possible. And Lord knows we need so much of it with me. <laughs> at times we'll tell each other. And there may be even days that you don't like me much at all. But there will never be a moment in the room for the rest of your life that I'm not fighting for you. So today and for every day to come, I vow to greet each sunrise with a grateful heart. I vow to trust you, to encourage you to remain faithful to you and to love you unconditionally with all that I am. But above all, I vow to love you in a way that reminds you every day that you are his first. I vow to cherish you, to stay with you, and to praise God each and every morning for this incredible, wild, sometimes chaotic, but always beautiful journey I get to share with you until the day he calls me home. I love you. I can't wait to grow old with you. And raise all the babies with you and spend the rest of forever being so unbelievably proud to be your wife. Jared and Kyla, we have witnessed the pledging of your love and commitment to each other. It is therefore my joy and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Jared, you may kiss my sister. <laughs>